Well, here's our newest project. Out here on the 160, we got the 220 coming because the new play toy didn't make it here in time. So, uh, we got about an acre and a half pond or so. It's down about probably 10 feet. Um, it's leaking through the dam. The dam's about 500 feet long, and, and there's certain spots where the uh, the water's just gushing through like a fire hose. So either when it was built a long, long time ago, they just pushed up dirt and it had a log or something in it. And as time progressed, the log rotted out, created a tunnel, and there goes the water. So uh, we're going to be clearing all the trees off this thing and digging down in all the bad spots and digging the bad dirt out and putting good dirt back and kind of re it. And that should pretty much seal off all the areas that are leaking. That's the plan. We'll probably throw a little bit night in there too. That way if any water does get to it, it'll swell up and, and seal it. But uh, yeah, it definitely needs to be cleaned up around. It hasn't been maintained in quite a while, but if we get it cleaned up, it should turn out to be a nice little pond. Well, here's a quick little video of the dam. As you can tell, it ain't very wide and it's got trees all grown up and then logging cut over. So we're going to clear the whole top of the dam off all the way around and the back slope and probably 15, 20 foot at the bottom just so it can kind of be maintained a little bit better. Oh, it's a little after lunchtime. Let's see, 1.20. Pretty much got the whole entire dam cleared off. You can kind of see how narrow it was and how deep it is. So we got all that cleared off. And you just want to chunk it back over here into the woods. It's just all logging cut over, so it ain't like it really makes a whole hill of beans of what it looks like. It's a mess anyway, so we're going to uh, finish clearing this up. He's bailing it down here to me. And I'm walking it back here and putting it where it's a little uh, got more behind the dam where it's a little deeper that way it doesn't stick up so bad. Guess that's my sign I need to get back to work. So I'm making a cut with a 220, loading it in the truck, and then we're hauling it over here to the core. We're digging it out with a 160, hauling it down there and pushing it in there with the skid steer. Packing it back. Make some bit night in too. Oh, I will tell you one thing. I'm getting tired of climbing in and out of this blasted excavator and haul truck today. Because I'm loading and hauling. And Cameron is spreading. And the boss man is a-wailing away on the core, and I better put that in dry. So let's go haul a load. Ugh. And bag it up. Oh, I didn't turn near. Might make it. Roll into the pond one. Oh yeah, we got that. Oh, got it. And engine brake. Womp, womp, womp. Hmm, no commentary at the moment until I get back, back here, because it's, I got like eh, four inches on each side of the tires from falling off of the edge into this thing. So let me focus for just a second and I'll get a video of dumping. Where am I going? There we go. Alright, neutral and dump. And I can kind of roll backwards, watch this as I dump. Kind of spread it as I go until I hit a big blob. But he's just a wailing away down there getting all the uh, bad dirt out. 
I don't know if I went up and dumped it all. Yep. Oh, about to run off the dam. See, it's kind of tight. So, yep. I'm notching the hillside out. Getting my dirt from there. And hauling it down here. And he's... You see him in the core. In the mirror there, pushing it across. I'll get a video from up here. You'll be able to see it a little better. Good little amount of dirt cut out, though. There we go. Can you see him kind of pushing way across there? Focus. There we go. He's taking all that clay I just dumped out and pushing it down in that lift. That skidster's packing the crap out of it. Put it in there an inch or so at the time and drag it in. It's a good 95, 98% compacted. That's all you need for a pond dam. He's digging it out and throwing it back on the backside. We'll bring the dozer tomorrow and blend it all into the backside and get a nice good slope on that versus the one to one that it is at the moment. Here we are day two on uh, fixing the pond dam. We uh, a little dirt moving at least. Day three all together. Got a good little cut made out. He's over there. Brought the dozer this morning to kind of grade the back slope out. He's uh, filling in the new core we dug. You see all the dirt piled up. We retrenched it. Skid steers placing it as he's dumping it. So should get probably that filled in by lunchtime. Then we move all that dirt on the back slope and get it graded out and should get the dam wrapped up today. And here we are wrapping it up. Actually added a bunch of dirt to the back side of the dam to get some slope on it. Got the top of the dam graded back to the grade it was. Just trying to get it where he can actually maybe maintain it a little bit better. Um, should be able to mow that with a bush auger you go up and down. So. He's grading that out. Gonna let all this trash just rot back here in the back. I'm cutting a little ditch right here for the overflow. It's just a little horizontal pipe sticking out right there to uh, drain out. And I'm cutting a ditch so it actually runs into the woods and not down the back slope of the dam here and to possibly wash it out over time. Well, that's it. They'll finish it up tomorrow and I'm gone for the rest of the week.